everybody. Today we're going to make birch wall art and you can basically make any shape that you want. But we're going to start off with things like birch branches, clippers, a drill, some wire, a ruler, cardboard and marker. So we're going to measure out what we want for our length and then you're just going to clip off to make sure that the bottoms are even if you're doing the design that I've already done. And I previously cut off all the side branches so that they would lay relatively close together. And as you can see, I have these big clippers that I use for the larger branches. But depending on the size of the branches you have, you may not need these larger ones. So I just aligned them up and I wanted to do an angled shape at the top. So I just used my smaller clippers to clip them off. And based on where I want the wire running through, I create a template on my cardboard and mark off where I want the bottom holes and the top holes to be and then that way I can drill using the template. So I just take the branch and where I cut the bottoms I align it with the bottom of the template and then I did a quarter turn with each of the branches so that this was the side of the branch that I was drilling through and that the fronts would remain the same. So I just drill down in both places where I put the template and then make sure that it's that quarter turn and drill all the pieces that you want. Now if you want a larger uh, wall art hanging, I would suggest using a little bit thicker wire that I am going to use or you can even put kind of a wood backing that you just drill in. But I just needed some simple craft wire and I just strung it through each of the branches and a lot of times after the holidays stores have birch uh, branches that are still available and they have them on discount or if you're lucky enough to live in a colder climate just head out on a nature walk because sometimes birch branches fall to the ground because of windstorms so as long as it's still a fairly fresh branch it'll be perfect and the smaller ones tend to be nice if you need to trim your own birch tree you've got a lot of supply there as well so keep your eye out when you go on your next nature walk and if not just check out your local stores and see if they have some leftover from the holidays. But then what I do is I wrap several times with my wire around the end piece and then I just tie off a little knot with the wire maybe a couple of times and do that with all the four pieces of wire. I first do the one side so that as it is tight enough on that side I can just push the branches together slightly just to make sure they're as tight as I can get them. So see I pull that other wire out just to make sure it's tight and then I fasten that one off as well. And remember you can make any shape that you want just the same simple process of putting the branches together wiring them off and then you can even clip the bottoms differently make it more of a circle you can maybe create a heart shape. Basically just let your creativity be the guide or depending on the space that you're trying to fill that can help with your shape and size. Now that we have this all tied off we're going to attach a hanging hook so you can mount it on the wall. So just measure right across the art piece and then whatever is the center of your measurement. So this was eight inches across so at four inches even though it doesn't look like the center it really is and I've turned it over to attach it to the back and then I drilled in the hook. So that's really all you have to do just make sure that it's firmly in the center and then you've got your beautiful wall hanging. So get creative make whatever you like but don't forget hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and when you subscribe ring that bell because we've got new amazing natural crafts and recipes videos coming out all the time and if you're new to my channel check out all the previous videos that we've done for natural crafts and recipes that you can make and enjoy